I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Alright, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Let me just double check. Yeah, uh, sound should be good. Um, hey everybody, um, this is Debo, season 4 vlog number 11. Haven't done anything in the last couple days. I got the Akara set up, so I know a lot of people have been uh, enjoying the Akara set video. Make sure you guys check that out. Um, this is a fun speed farming build from Torment level 7 to 9. Something to do to switch up stuff, and if you just need to farm keys quickly, it works out pretty well. It's not meant for higher level greater roots, but something different. <clears throat> With that being said, uh, I want to talk about two things today. Um, first thing we're going to talk about is Paragon levels. And the second thing we are going to talk about is greater roof density and how crazy it is. Uh, first, Paragon level. I'm approaching 700 myself. Uh, like I said, uh, by the end of the season, I just want to be a thousand. That'll be more than enough, I feel. Interesting enough for Witch Doctor leaderboards, if we look at it, uh, View Hero Details, Paragon 1061, View Hero Details, Paragon level 763. So the cool thing about Witch Doctor, it seems like you don't need a lot of Paragon levels to make a difference. As long as your gym levels are up there, and as long as you got the right rolls, um, shouldn't be too much of an issue, in all honesty. Uh, it should be all right. Uh, as you can see, you know, mostly everybody's just running zombie barriers, little alterations, people running furnaces and stuff. Esoteric is pretty much the dominant gym. Uh, looks like they got some nice high level gyms. Looks like this guy got 80s and 78s. So um, I would imagine you probably can do 70 with about, I think, 800. I think 800 Paragon would be very comfortable to do a nice, easy 70. Not too bad along with some gyms that are level 65 or higher. I mean, of course, if you're running groups, you can get your gyms higher. Getting the gyms of a higher level will make a big difference. Um, I don't really think there will be a big difference between a guy who has level 80 gyms and a guy who has like level 65 to 70, or maybe even 60. Um, the big difference is just what the density is, but like I said, we'll get into a little bit. So, uh, for Witch Doctors at least, it seems like Paragon Levels is not making too much of a horrendous difference. You know, for the most part, everybody's pretty much running the same setups with the Firewall, the Zombie Bears, the Prowls of Perinato, uh, the Blaze Fighters, the uh, Languish, and also, you know, basically Spirit Walk. Everybody's kind of, you know, running the same thing and all that good stuff. Uh, the one thing that I think I definitely need to get is uh, I might need to, well, I definitely need a Hellfire Amulet. But, you know, for us, it's not too bad. Now, the crazy thing is, let's take a look at uh, Barbarians. Uh, I'll take a look at Alkaiser. He's at Paragon 1362. Paragon 1024. Paragon 1200. Paragon 1300. Just a lot of high-level Barbarians. Uh, I expect to see the same thing for monks as well, too, just because the group set up for four players is double monk, double barbarian, and that shit's really, uh, really strong. Yeah, 1,086, 1,000, a big difference from Witch Doctor and stuff like that. Uh, 926, uh, 948... 899. You know, I want to go back and look at that Witch Doctor that had a thousand Paragon levels from the number one spot. Let's see. Here's an interesting thing. He has a thousand Paragon level. Let's go ahead and look at uh, his profile. And let's take a look here. Um, season. Look at season four. And we're going to see. He has a monk. 231 hours of monk play. 370 hours of Witch Doctor play. Now, the weird thing is, he only has 370 hours as a Witch Doctor. But... I mean, he has uh, 231 hours. Well, I guess he put in a lot of work for Witch Doctor, so I guess that could be fair. But he does have the Monk, and I imagine his Monk is for Paragon farming and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's a good sign. At least he is playing a lot of Witch Doctor. I wonder how many profile hours I got. I don't think I... I think... We'll see. View profile. I don't even know how many hours I got. Uh, season 4. Um, let me see here. There we go. 156 hours, so, eh, so, so, could be doing a lot better, but, I did my 40 hours a week average, a little bit over that, so that's all right, um, so yeah, it, it just kind of seems like if you're barbarian or monk, the paragon levels come easy, which is, because, you know, there's speed farming, uh, let me see what wizards are at, maybe a couple wizards at a paragon, let's see, uh, view hero details, 945, uh, let's take a look here, Let's look at this profile. Let's see what else does he have. 
for seasons. Seasons. One hour for Barbarian, 164. So yeah, it looks like he put in a lot of hours. That's a lot of hours, though, for season four. He has 417. Let me see. Um, let's see when the season came out. The season came out, I do believe, the last week of August. I think on the 28th. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Um, so, 28th. That'd be one, two, three, four. So, four. Four weeks. 28 days, 29, 30, 31. So, about 32 days since season started. So, 32 days. 32 days. 32 days times that by 24, 768 hours. Let me see here. Uh, so 417 plus 164. So, okay, subtract the 768 hours from uh, 417. Brings us down to 351 and 164 from 351. Uh oh. I fucked up. 32 times. That's I'm sorry, 32 days times 24 hours, or 24 hours, 768 hours, uh, minus 417, minus 417, and then minus 164. That's 187 hours left, so divide that by 24. So basically, he has had 8 hours downtime in the last 32 days. So basically, uh... <laughs> So let me think here. So, out of the last 32 days, he has had, let me see, he has basically eight days where he hasn't been playing. So, let's see here. So if he has eight days worth of time, eight days worth of time, um, times 24, that means it's 192 hours. 192 hours divided by 32 means he's averaging six hours of sleep a day. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll discuss that in another video. That's crazy. It means he's only had about six hours of sleep a day, if my math's correct, because 32 days times that by 24 hours, subtract that from the time he's had, it gives you the remaining amount of hours he had. He accumulated eight days of sleep worth out of 32 days when you divide times the eight days times uh, 24 hours. That gives you a certain set amount of hours and you divide it by 32. That means how many hours every day that's averaging of sleep. Now it could have varied a little bit, but that's crazy. Um, so, I mean, I think Paragon makes a difference. I think if you want to get in top 50, as long as you get Paragon 1000 to make a good run, that's all you really need. Uh, I think for top 20, it might be 1300, and then top 10 might be 1500 Paragon for Witch Doctor. So we'll see. I'm just trying to hit 1000. All I'm trying to do for the seas is hit Paragon 1000 and hit Greater Rift Level 70. That's fine for me. I don't need to go any higher than that. And if I do, I do. But uh, that's my goal. So that's the whole Paragon thing. Uh, easiest way to get Paragon levels is to play a Monk or a Barbarian. You gotta go support one or a DPS one inside of groups and speed run 65s. That seems to be the best way. And then also uh, make sure you stack up your... Uh, pool of reflections, those little yellow pools, you can stack up the 10 of them to give you increased experience and that also will make things a lot easier for yourself. So, um, that's it for Paragon. Uh, second thing I want to talk about is greater rift density. Like, the greater rift system is so bad right now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, at least, at least towards the density. The density is quite atrocious. Uh, I can maybe get 1 out of 10, uh, one out of ten runs, I will get a good mob density. Uh, let me see. I am down to 29 keys. That was down from 140 yesterday. Uh, well, I don't think it was from 140. We'll, we'll, say, we'll be fair. We'll just say it's 100, 100 and, we'll just say 120, right? So 120 <laughs> minus 29, that means I've, I've done about 91 runs yesterday. Well, a lot of times I was just leaving, or maybe it's over the course of two days, and I just... I could not get any good mob density. Um, the thing that makes me a little bit sad the most is that, um, as you see, we're going to the Greater Rift right here. Uh, the thing that makes me the sad the most is that uh, you really, there's just certain mobs you uh, 
you can't fight. The certain mobs you can't fight, it's like the yellow mobs, like right here. I shouldn't be fighting this, I actually should skip it, but I'm actually wanting to kill some of these regular monsters because uh, they uh, actually give some good status gain on the meter and stuff like that. I find that most of my monsters I'm getting that are pretty good are basically non-yellow monsters, high mob density with... Uh, See, this is very bad because you got two yellow mobs in a row with the, with the blue elites. Basically, what you want to get is like a large trash pack. And then you want to get a blue mob that's not too crazy, that doesn't have arcane. And as long as you get that, that's a good pack in, and you can usually get uh, pretty far ahead. Um, as you can see right here, this is not too good because uh, we got uh, like two yellow monsters, and they're going to follow me through the rift. And uh, this would be example. Like, the density right here is actually pretty solid. But this is uh, unfortunate because when you get the yellow mobs, they have so much HP, almost as much as a Rift Guardian, you're better off just skipping. So if I would have had that whole mob pack the way it is right now, and those would have been blue mobs, I could have maybe worked with a little bit right here. But sometimes I'll even sit here and try to kill some things and stuff like that. But what I really discovered with the Greater Rift system, it's really, with the density being hit or miss, and then sometimes even when you get the density, you just get some really bad mobs. It really just doesn't seem to matter. Um, it just gets really a little bit frustrating because all you're doing is fishing. I know other seasons you're fishing, but it really wasn't that bad. If you had like the right gear, some decent paragons, you could do pretty well for yourself. So see right here, my status is actually doing pretty good because we got some pretty good mob density right here. And, uh, you know, uh, this, is, this is pretty nice actually. I'm not going to lie. This is pretty nice. Um, yesterday I was having more issues, uh, I was getting less stuff like this, but I mean this is just how the game goes right now and this is what we have to play. We have to play the game in which Blizzard designed for us. So right now, like I said, I'm just trying to dip and dodge, I'm not trying to die and stuff. Looks like I'm doing okay. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if I cleared this on uh, the little vlog? Because I just sometimes go into Greater Rifts just to show you guys the stuff. This is actually pretty funny. This is actually working out pretty good. Actually, I probably should leave the room in all honesty. I, and I, you know what, I should have set myself to have a furnace. I got myself with the cat inside the weapon because the cat inside the weapon is very strong with the thing of the deep because you can get the cat effect still and have the thing of the deep and that makes it so you survive a lot better. But sometimes I think, you know, who cares about surviving? You should just be focused on, uh, you know, uh, doing as much damage as possible. I'm thinking about putting Pierce the Veil back. We'll have to wait and see. And, uh, you know, what? normally I would skip this, but, I mean, they're almost low. I'm not going to kill the yellow one, but I'll kill the blue one and I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. Uh, I actually probably should just skip that, and that's another thing that drives me crazy about the Greater Rift system. Like, like, I'm noticing, like, it's all about the trash mobs. Like, if you get into some situations, even if you have a blue, it's like, oh, screw it, just leave the blue, you got your trash mob, get onto the next one with another trash mob. Or what I'll do sometimes is I'll drag the blues with me while I keep killing trash mobs, because eventually... You know, I might run into a conduit, or I might just keep getting sets of trash mob over and over again, and the nice thing about it, it'll be like, oh, hey, look, you know, I got a lot of trash mobs in the next packs, and eventually the blue will just die, because if I'm dragging the blue across three different rooms, and eventually I just basically kill it after, you know, killing it slowly, it's like you always just don't want to, you don't want to fight any elites unless you are actually getting... Uh, a lot of trash mobs to go with it. I mean, when you're killing the trash mobs, you can cast more firewalls, especially if you got Grave Injustice. I know that's something I gotta work on to get with my Hellfire Ammo, because that's definitely gonna help out a lot. So you see how that yellow mob is actually following me right now? That's pretty much what I do with the blue mobs sometimes. And if they follow me, I just basically drag them to the next room with more mobs and more mobs. So this is actually some pretty solid density right here. Wish it could be a little bit more. But then again, that's my fault. I should have left the last room. I shouldn't have stayed there and fight. I should have just skipped the elites and just kept it moving because I probably would have still been very far ahead. Um, and as somebody said in the forum as well, too, and one thing I kind of do agree with is that uh, the, it's all down to the mob density. Like, when you basically go into a rift, what determines whether or not you're going to beat it or not is already established before you actually get in there. So uh, what he was trying to say is you might as well go for like a higher level worth way higher than what you can do because you're just looking for that one perfect rift and when you find it you'll still be able to do it so like let's say you're doing 65s right and you go into a group and your group is at 70 you never tried a 70 uh 70 solo and you're doing 65s you might as well just push for the 70 as long as you got most of the same gear as everybody else because you never know you get a good mob density at 70 you might get the perfect rift and you might be able to cheese it out and beat it what if you get a power pylon and a conduit pylon right before you beat the boss and that's why I tell a lot of people, uh, the secret about a rift is the only 
the only time you, well, you only need to beat a riff once. So if you spam, a, let's say that number one ranking is 75. Let's say you're spamming 75. Even if you go through a thousand keys, if you beat that 75 once, you've beaten it. That's it. You only need to win once. You don't need to do consistency. You don't need any of that other stuff. All you need to do is, uh, oh, kind of pilot. All you need to do is beat it once. And as long as you beat it once, that's it, you win. And that's what the game basically boils down to is like, can you just get that one riff? So it's not about a matter of fact of being consistent or having a solid build or consistently clearing at a higher level. The only consistency you're gonna have is when you're Paragon farming, when you're just trying to be efficient, you know, get your, uh, you know, your, your Paragon set up the right way and things of that nature, you know, getting, you know, the right groups so you can maximize experience, make sure two of your homeboys is running, you know, the, uh, oh, okay, you're gonna be running the uh, experience, uh, the, the support build with the experience for us. I'm going to be running damage. That's the only thing you really, 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 really ever need to worry about being efficient. But with the Greater Rift system, all you got to do is just get that one rift that's magical. So the main thing is you want to farm your keys, get a bunch of keys, and after you get a bunch of keys, um, you know, that's pretty much about it. You just basically spamming through the rift, and if you get a crappy rift, you can just leave it and not feel bad because it's not too hard to farm keys. Um, that's what the problem with like a lot of people say is like botting really doesn't affect much. The big thing with the botters do um, is it's it's they get granted time because they don't have to waste time to farm keys. So while you're farming keys, what a botter does is they bot the keys so that when they get home or when they come back online, they don't have to worry about dealing with the whole key thing because they already got a lot of keys. So that's what they mostly do. It's some of them run a kind of a <clears throat> group experience stuff and get extra experience, but it's mostly for the keys is why they do it, because a lot of people hate farming keys, even though it's silly, you know, you might as, you know, you might as well. Um, but, uh, you know, um, I mean, that's just how it's going to be. I know we always talk about that every season with the mob density and stuff like that, but, um, you know, it's just, it's just, uh, on the PTR, the density was a lot better than what it currently is right now. Um, I don't know what's happening right now. This is incredible. I've never gotten a part. This is this is like the testament of RNG. I, this is crazy right now how much good density I'm getting right here. And uh, how generally lax the monsters are. You know, I don't know if I'll beat this, but like I said, if I do, this would be quite hilarious. Because I just wanted to show you guys an example of, let's see what kind of density I get and how things go. So if I can get a nice power pylon right before... Uh, the Greater Rift Guardian, that'd be even more perfect than I will actually beat it. And I'll just be like, okay, well, after 90-something runs, it was like on run 98, I actually beat it. And, I, you know, the next level is 57. Beat a 60, uh, 56, or 66, or, I'm sorry, 65 the other day. So that was pretty cool. Um, but like I said, I'd like to have a little bit more damage. And the big thing is I'm just trying to preserve my spirit vessel because I definitely don't want to lose that. Um, that gives me a lot of leverage when I'm fighting these monsters. And as you know, I'm just trying to time it so I don't lose it. Um, I wish I had a little bit more trash mobs, but that's okay. Oh, Spirit Vessel pops, and now i got to be very careful, and I died. Uh, I'm going to end up killing this monster off. I don't know, I probably should have skipped them, but there's two elites right here, and I'll probably end up breaking even being a little bit more ahead. Um, looking back on this, see, this is an example of I should have skipped. You don't want to fight Arcane, and you really don't want to fight Shielding. And you want to make sure you have a lot of mobs. But like I said, we're going to stick this out. Um, this is two elite kills right here, um, but normally I would tell you to skip these types of mobs, and that's another sad thing is too, it's like you want to fight these monsters in this dungeon and feel like you're heroic, but it's like the game rewards you more for skipping them. It's like, oh, well, you're arcane, so I'm going to skip you. Oh, you're yellow mob, so I'm going to skip you. Mm, shielding, well, I'm going to skip you. A single elite pack, no trash mobs around you, well, I'm going to skip you. And um, it, to me, I don't think that makes for a fun experience, right? Because, I mean, no one wants to, I mean, if you guys, tell me how you guys feel about that. Like, no one wants to go into a dungeon and feel like they have to skip most of the mobs that they're fighting. It's just, it's weird, because then it, basically what the mobs happen is, like, it turns into another RNG aspect of it. You're just like, ah, dude, you know, I, I, I kind of want to fight these monsters, you know? Make it an epic battle and stuff like that. It's just weird when you get certain monster types, it's like Ghost or Exorcist, you're just like, oh, hell with this, I don't want to, I don't want to fight this crap at all, so... Uh, hindsight on that mob, I should have skipped it. And that's what I'm saying, like, when the mob didn't see seems to be this good, I should have just skipped it, and that probably would have been more beneficial towards me, uh, to skip it. Uh, that's just how I've been noticing, like I said. So we got an elite pack over here. Uh, 
Hopefully we can get these mobs over here. Hopefully they come over here and we can just round them all up. As long as the monsters are not too much on the jerk side and they all come stack over here, this actually will end up being very good. Uh, you know, as long as the monsters stack up, that actually helps out a lot. So, like I said, um, looking back at this rift, if I actually would have skipped certain mobs and did things a little bit differently, I think things would have ended up a little bit differently. Uh, we got some good mob density here, so that looks pretty good. And, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say I have, I, you know what, I enjoy the Greater Rift system when it actually has good mob density. Like, if I get fucked up mobs is one thing, but, like, when it's not a lot of mobs, like, let me tell you, like, when you get a mob density, when you get a rift, and, like, the density is nothing, and you know you have no chance, it's, like, very frustrating. Um, like I said, this is, this is a weird rift. <laughs> like I said, I'm surprised I got this much mob density. And the Grave Injustice is pretty nice, uh, because I could spam more firewalls and I can just keep up a bunch of firewalls. That seems to make a big difference because you want a lot of your damage, or most of your damage, your highest damage is a firewall. And you want to get as many stacks down as possible. Uh, let's see here. Oh shit, that was bad. I don't want to die because that's going to be 20 seconds. And we don't want 20 seconds. And see, right now, this is when I contemplate, well, should I skip this? And I'm thinking, like, nah, it's pretty low. I can I can finish this off. But I don't know. In a couple weeks, when I keep running these, because I never grind a greater risk to this amount of the season because I always hated it. But I said I'm going to give it a try. You know, um, when I get more learned about the technique, then I'll kind of learn, like, okay, well, yeah, you should skip a mob here. You should skip a mob here. I kind of want to make a video. This is when you should skip a mob. This is when you should skip a mob. You know, because, uh, you know, usually at first it was just yellows. But then I notice it's like, damn, you really just can't fight the blues unless you have a good tr amount of trash mob in there as well, because you don't want to do that. You don't want to fight a blue mob, because basically you want to kill trash monsters, right? The trash monsters reset your grave injustice, allows you to firewall more, and that's what you want to happen, because the more firewalls you have, the more stacks you can build up, the more damage against the elites and stuff like that. But uh, the, one of the biggest problems I've noticed is that uh, if you just fight an elite pack by itself, it's so inefficient because you want that trash mob around it. So I guess the bigger rule is, it's like, even with yellows, like if you have a crazy mob density and the yellows are not that crazy, the yellow uh, elite packs, um, then you should probably just stick around, kill all the monsters around it, and then just move on. So I've been doing that kind of too, because I've noticed like, oh, hey, you know what? I kind of noticed that it's not that bad of an idea to fight these monster packs that are around this yellow even though I normally skip it as long as it's not too crazy I can kill these trash mobs and just move on because the uh, the meter that you gain from killing the trash mobs is uh, very worth it and it's it's, it's basically you, you, you want to uh, get that gains and stuff like that I think that's why barbarians do so well because they can just go from trash to trash and kill all the trash monsters have no problem and, get that meter up, get like, have like eight minutes for the boss, and then just hope they get a good boss. I mean, that would be a little bit less frustrating than this, but, I mean, each, each class has their own different things they have to deal with, and I'm not that far in the meter, so, uh, unless I get like a huge mob pack with a huge mob density, uh, it's just not gonna happen. We'll see. I think this room looks pretty good. Uh, this looks alright. Yeah, this room looks pretty good. Um, you know, if I got that conduit pylon a little bit sooner, that might have helped. Uh, let me see here. Hopefully, if we can get a power pylon on the next level, we might do okay. If not, I don't think we're going to beat this in time, unfortunately. I think if I just would have been a little bit more skipping on this mob, this could have turned into some good potential. Uh, ooh, this is a good mob pack. If I could find, if I could get, uh, whatchamacallit, if I can just find a power pylon somewhere in here, I might be able to spawn the boss and beat it, but we'll have to wait and see. Because I haven't even spawned it yet. It's 46 seconds left. But see, I think I would have had more time if I would have skipped a little bit more. Yeah, see, I don't. I don't. See, I haven't even spawned the boss yet. Yeah, see. Yeah, see, I don't. I haven't even skipped the boss yet. Okay, so we spawned the boss up here 25 seconds. Unless there is a pylon here somewhere, it's just not going to happen. And there is no pylon. So we call that a wrap. Um, but that was a good showing that, you know, hey, if, uh, if, see, that, see, that's, all I needed was a power pylon. Or if I had that conduit pylon at a better spot, like with the bigger rooms, that also would have made a big difference. Um, 
yeah, I, it just it is what it is. But I mean, that shows you what I've been dealing with. Uh, like I said, and I don't really think there's a big difference between 63 to 65, 65 to 68. I know people say 68 gets pretty bad too, but um, that's just basically what you have to do. Like that was good mob density. I think if I would have skipped a lot more, I think I would have had a lot more time and had some potential. But then again, you know, I need you need you know maybe I needed that conduit at a certain better time or maybe a power pylon at a better time that would have helped me out a lot. But I'm going to run through the rest of these, uh, I think when I start Diablo today, I'm going to run through the rest of these 20, what's 28, 28 keys, I don't have my context in, so it's hard for me to see, 28 keys, and then I think I'm going to switch out this cat, because I'm using that with the thing of the deep, that works out pretty well, I'm going to switch it back to a furnace, and do that, but I've been switching around a couple things here and there, I saw a guy do a 70 setup like that, it actually provides a lot more survivability, uh, because you're able to run the cat and you have the thing of the deep, which is pretty nice for the radius effect. Uh, I'm going to run the cat and just have the furnace, but, uh, you know, that's it for this one. Um, I'll be back in another two days talking about what's going on in Oil Diablo, if anything changed and stuff. Mostly people, a lot of people are burnt out, a lot of people are quitting seasons, but, I mean, I said it, people would have maybe about a month or two months before they're done. It's a four-month season, maybe a little bit too long. We'll talk about some other stuff, but, yeah, that's Paragon Levels and Greater Rips. Hopefully they make the density more consistent like that. That'll make my life a lot easier. Uh, but like I said, I got lucky on that rift. That's like a 1 out of 10 rift that was like that. And that's kind of sad because maybe if I... <laughs> I should have skipped, man. But, I mean, that's just me. Or maybe uh, since I'm running that... Or I was running that setup with the cat and the... Uh, and the uh, thing of the deep. What I should have done is just skip a lot of the elites and just went for the trash mobs. But who knows? Anyways. I hope you guys have a good day. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the vlog. And I'll see you guys about two days from now, unless I might vlog tomorrow, unless if something major happens. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching my, my uh, YouTube videos. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, if you guys want me to talk about something else next uh, vlog, just uh, leave it in the comments. Have a good day.